well, we did have a rather marvellous time at the birthday party, didn't we? Yes, we did. And I'll tell you what, Stinky, I think having that secret trail for all the boys and girls was a splendid idea. And you were the winner, Stinky. I can't believe that you won. What's that? Secret trails are something that you're very good at. Yes, well, you did win the prize. Not only did you get a birthday balloon, but you got lots of sweets and candies as well. Yes, Stinky was the winner. Hip hip hooray for Stinky. Oh, wonderful. It was so much fun at the birthday party. And what a lucky boy Thomas was. All those wonderful gifts that he received from all his friends. Yes. What's that? Oh, it's the poppets. Oh, welcome, welcome, poppets, mums and dads and everyone else, of course. Well, you're just in time for story time, I have to say. And we're very, very excited here today because Stinky and I went to a birthday party. And at the party, they had lots of games. And of course, there were lots of delicious things to eat. And I yes, I did tuck into some of that chocolate cake, I have to say. But towards the end of the birthday party, there was a secret trail for all the boys and girls to go on. And the lucky person who won got a birthday balloon, one of those fantastic helium balloons, and a wonderful basket full of sweets, chocolates and candies as well, with some other goodies underneath. And it was our boy Stinky here who won! And I'm so proud of him and we just had a wonderful time. It is really, really wonderful to celebrate somebody's birthday, isn't it, Stinky? Yes, it is. Well, waffling on just a bit like I do, and today's story is called, Would You Believe, The Mystery Trail? And thank you, Stinky dear. Well, this is very fitting for today, I have to say, The Mystery Trail. Yes, and the birthday party was a bit of a boys club birthday party, so there was lots of things there for boys to do. Lots and lots of fun, and they got all dressed up in bow ties and braces and looked very, very smart. Yes, oh, it was wonderful. I do love a birthday party, I have to say. Lots of fun indeed. And here we go, my dear ones. One day, Poppy Cat and her friend Stinky were playing in the garden with Mo. Mo arrived with a brilliant detective kit. It was full of fantastic disguises. I'd love to be a detective. Looking for clues, said Poppy Cat. I'm ready, said Alma. All we need is a mystery to solve, Stinky. Well, there they are there, the friends, of course, and they're all very excited because they're going to be detectives and they're going to solve some mysteries. How very, very exciting, I have to say. Very, very exciting indeed. Yes, and they do look very excited there. Very excited. Just then, Owl arrived, Stinky, all in a flap. Oh, he's all in a flap. Help, one of my books has gone missing, he cried. What's that? He looks very upset. Yes, he does look very upset. Perfect, said Poppy Cat. Now we've got a real mystery to solve. Come on, let's return to the scene of the crime. Oh, the scene of the crime. Well, there's Al there, my dear ones. And he's in a flat. He's very, very upset. But perhaps his friends can help solve the mystery. Perhaps they can. Perhaps they will be wonderful detectives and they will help their friend Al. Oh yes, because of course, he's in a flap. He's in a tizzy flapping his wings. Everyone piled into Al's tree house and busily Stinky hunted for clues. Aha, found one, cried Alma, and I found one too, said Zazus. Oh, well there they are there. And they've found a clue already. I wonder what the clue is. Yes, things are certainly heating up. They've found a clue already. Oh yes, perhaps they will solve this mystery. Just perhaps they will. Poppy Cat held the clues up for a closer look. Hmm, she said, I have no idea where that blue feather has come from. Oh, a blue feather stinky. But this purple pine cone must come from the purple pine forest. Can we go there right away? Al asked. 
Well, my dear poppets, Poppy Cat has a purple pine cone and a blue feather. I wonder where those two objects have come from. Perhaps you know, because I certainly don't, but I suppose we'll just have to find out. Yes, that is quite the mystery, I have to say. Of course, said Poppy Cat. Oh, yes, of course. But first, we're going to need our very own car. And off, Stinky, they spin. Well, there they are with a rather magnificent car. It's pink with yellow wheels and some coloured squares on it as well. Quite a um, magnificent paint job there. And they're off to find some more clues to solve this rather strange mystery. Yes, they found a purple pine cone and a blue feather. I wonder who left those two things there? I just wonder. Soon the friends reach the purple pine forest. Oh yes, they've reached it. I can see some purple pines. Mo spotted another purple pine cone. Poppy Cat held it up, Stinky. Hmm, not as purple as the one we found in Owl's house, which means it's the right forest but Stinky, the wrong tree. Well, there they are there, and they're in the purple pine forest, but it's not as purple as the pine cone that they found in the tree house. But perhaps they're getting warmer to solving the mystery. Just perhaps they are. Yes, perhaps they're getting warmer. They certainly are hot on the case. They searched deeper in the forest, Stinky. Nothing here. Then they found their friend Egbert dressed up as Ernie the tree hugging tortoise. Oh dear. He was busy giving every tree a hug. Well, he likes trees, and I have to say I like them too. Very important trees. So Poppy Cat joined in. Oh, well, now they're all hugging trees. They must love being outside in the forest, I'd say. And trees are very, very important, of course. Yes, they really, really are. There's nothing like going for a walk in the woods. It's very, very peaceful. Suddenly they heard a strange squawking sound. Egbert ran away, Stinky. A pine cone dropped down from a nearby tree. Owl spotted another feather. They all went to look under the next tree, Stinky. Well, a pine cone dropped as they so often do. And of course, my dear poppets, they found a blue feather. Perhaps uh, some sort of bird flew by and a feather came out. A bird with blue feathers, perhaps. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yes, I wonder what sort of bird has blue feathers. At that moment, they heard a loud shh. They peered up the tree and what did they see? Quiet please, a bird, she twittered. This is the purple pine forest library tree and there's no talking stinky allowed. Oh, well fancy that, a tree that has a library tree. Well that certainly was unexpected, I have to say. I was not expecting that. Imagine that, a great big tall tree and all the branches of the tree hold wonderful books to read. I think I'd like a tree like that in my back garden. I'd be sitting up there every day. There's my book, yelled Al suddenly, spotting his long lost book. This is a library book, said Gilda. You forgot to return it, so I collected it. Whoops, sorry, said Al. Thank you, Gilda. Case solved, said Poppy Cat. Well, uh, Gilda was the one Stinky who was in the tree house because Al forgot his book so she collected a book and a feather fell out of her when she was in the tree house. Well that certainly has solved the mystery. Yes, it's very easy to forget library books. You have to keep track of when they're due to go back to the library. Yes, especially when you live very busy lives, it's hard to remember. So it's a good thing to write it down and to pop it on the fridge. That's how I remember most things. Nice work, detectives. Yes, great jobs, detective. And they all cheered. Poppy Cat and the gang started on choosing books at the library until the sun started to set. What's that? Oh, story time nearly over. You can hear the clock. Yes, I can too. We'd better remember to bring our 
books back next time though. Chuckle Poppy Cat. Well there's the detectives there heading back to the treehouse and of course the mystery is solved. The end and that was called The Mystery Trail with the wonderful detective Poppy the Cat and what a great detective Poppy was. Yes, he solved the mystery, didn't he, Stinky? Yes, he did. Well, mysteries and clues and being detectives, a lot of fun, I have to say. What's that? Can you have a secret trail at your birthday party? Yes, well, perhaps you could have a secret trail or a secret hunt at your birthday party and perhaps we could invite all the poppets to come along. Would you like that, Stinky? Yes, you would. Well, poppets, mums and dads, dear ones of course, thank you so much for tuning in for story time once again. Perhaps you could pretend to be a detective or perhaps you could creep about and go on a secret trail. And as always, my dear ones, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye.